What's good, everybody? It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject here, and welcome back to the channel, boys. And we are back with some more of the UGA Hoops Dynasty now on College Hoops 2K8, and we are getting ready for our season opener. We will be taking on Hampton. Nothing too crazy, but we cannot look past those dudes that we got as we got to try to come out here and get a dub. But before we go into that week, man, we are going to uh, take care of some recruiting for this week and the week of the game almost simulated past it by mistake but here we are let's go ahead and take a look at the recruiting so we can really deep dive into this just a little bit now what i want to focus on first is my are my targets so the main thing we got to worry about now is our juniors and our junior college players right so we got victor bonfum right he is a big man from brazil seven foot 215 a high school senior no, he's not in. He's not a part of any uh, class that we have over here in America. So unranked, we don't know how good he's going to be. We can't really get a good guess, but he's a four-star recruit, right? And the plus side to it all, nobody else is currently recruiting Victor. So we're going to go ahead and go hard after Victor, right? And we want to we want to continue to have the height that we have with the seven-four Sam Gay. Everybody else but below him, you know, what I'm saying is like six-nine because Tim Pace is a, is a is a four. So we're going to go ahead and offer him a Scully off rip. That's how hard we want to go after this dude. We want to show, you know what I mean, that we are serious about him. We want to bring him over to America, get him an education, all that good jazz. Now, we got Juco point guard Torrance Fontanet. We got Juco seven-footer WC Amos. You know what I'm saying? So Amos and Fontanet are going to come in as sophomores because they're just Juco freshmen. Then we got Juco sophomore Terry Bolton, uh, Braden uh, Catalinas, and then we got Chris Wright. Now, we have no point guards on our board right now. Torrance Fontenet, I'm actually thinking about taking him off of my list because we don't want to waste points trying to catch up to Texas Tech, right? He's pretty much dead set on going to that team. Didn't really realize that till now, but that's why we come out here and recruit. Then we got WC Amos. Uh, we're behind Wisconsin right now. Another guy added in late, you know what I'm saying? Trying to see if we can make a, a you know, a good push, but he's gone. We're going to go ahead and remove him from our list. So that's two spots to open up on our target list, right? But now we got Terry Bolton, Juco sophomore. He'll come in as a junior. Uh, we still got a, we got a good push towards him. So we're going to invite him to campus. You know what I mean? We're going to call him. We're going to email. Don't want to offer him a scholar yet. We got Braden uh, Catalinas right behind Providence. I feel like we could jump over Providence, right? So let's go ahead and go real hard at him, invite him to campus. We're going to offer him a scholarly. I'm going to email him. I'm going to uh, go ahead and call him. Now, Contalinus, uh didn't play ABL, so we don't have any of those stats. A lot of these things we don't really have. You know, we don't really know as we're going to uh, start to scout him. But I'm very, very confident that he can be, you know, you know, as good as, if not better than Wright, because Wright isn't really a starter right now, but he's just literally all we have left at the point guard position. Then we got Chris Wright. Just gonna add more depth at the ring, at the wing, if we can get him. Uh, you know what I mean? Out of Atlanta, local kid. You know what I'm saying? Let's go ahead and let's. We're right here. We're, we're two hours away, three hours away in Athens. Let's go ahead and visit him and his family. Call him. You know, email him. Let him know we're serious. Now, we got all of the guys like that out of the way, right? So now we need to focus on our juniors. Now, when it comes to these junior recruits. We cannot do anything besides email and call them every single week, but it is something we got to make sure that we stay on top of, you know what I'm saying, in order to uh, climb up their uh, their boards, right? So we run out of points with our head coach, and we're just going to use one of our, uh, one of our uh, you know, assistant coaches. His charisma is kind of just as good as ours. Now, you know what I'm saying, let's take a look here. Jordy Fanning, a junior. We're behind Georgia Tech, a local kid, Atlanta. Then we got uh, we got Ashley Barlow out of Des Moines, Iowa. And then we got Kyle Lang. He's out of uh, Australia. This is a kid I really, really want to bring over here next year when he's a senior. And then you see here the sophomores. Uh, we got Colin. We didn't uh, request we didn't request game tape from him yet, so I'm going to go ahead and get that done. Uh, Boylan, we already requested his game tape. We also need to request game tape from Francis Keller. Uh, let's go ahead and add him to a list. Now, scouting on our on our on our on our assistant coaches isn't that high, but I feel like it'll be okay, man. Um, like I said, next season is where we really start to go hard with the sophomores and things like that. And the freshmen, once you add, once you uh, offer, there's there's you know, ask for their scout tapes. Uh, there's nothing much you could do after that. Now, uh, Ryan here, this is somebody we're going to really, really try to go hard after because we're starting off in this top 10 and we're trying to make it all the way to the to his top list. But we opened up some spots on our target list, boys. You get 15 spots on your target list, and we are currently at number 13. But I got some young boys out here that we've contacted and or scouted that I'm definitely, definitely interested in. 
not really seniors. You know what I mean? We won't be able to get him. We got some two stars and three stars we can go after. But, you know what I mean? Those guys, you know what I mean? We're going to, like, take a look at this dude, right? We're not on his list because we haven't reached out to him. But we got a bigger lead on anybody else on his list. So we can go ahead and get him if we want. But, like I said, we're going to focus in the Juco ranks. We got we got seven scholarships. We've only offered two so far. But, you know what I mean? We're not just going to settle just for the for the sake of making, of, uh, of offering, uh, you know, of getting recruits. We want to bring in quality recruits. They're going to meet what it is we're trying to build. And, and they're going to be able to, uh, you know, play well in our system. So now we're looking at Josh Spencer Jr., right? We're ahead of VTech, Duke, Wake Forest, UCF, and Marshall. Um, you know what I'm saying? We, we're we going to add him to the list. That's going to put him at number 14 in the list. I'm going to go actually go ahead and request. I'm going to just add him to the list. I'm not going to request game tape because I want that to come straight from... I want that to come straight from my head coach. So we'll just uh, call him on the phone with everybody. And then, you know... You know, we'll, we'll, we'll request game tape. I just want to make sure I get it out of the way so I don't forget. And then I want to try to add another freshman to our list. You can take a look here. There's a lot of freshmen that we actually reached out to, you know what I'm saying, at the beginning of the year. And we're trying to figure out which guy is going to be the guy we really, really want to go hard after. Now, probably small four is where I really want to go, right? Now, we're going after Ryan, right? 63%. But we got some, a lot of teams we're going up against. When you take a look at Gerald Chambers, um, you know – who's 6'3", only four pounds lighter. Both of these dudes should probably grow to be around 6'6", six, 6'7". Six, six, They're not always going to grow, but they should grow. So we're going to add Drew Chambers to our list. We already scouted him. That's why we're not going to request tape. So he's going to be our number 15 on our list. So, you know what I mean? We went ahead and updated our list here. Um, so let's go to all. Let's go to uh, targets. And this is what our new target list is going to look like. Now, these two, uh, these two point guards are priority right now. These are the guys we want to go really, really hard after. And then, you know, after that, we got our Juco guys and we got our senior. Um, probably not going to get a lot of those dudes. So take a look at some of these um, some of these three-star guys and stuff like that. Um, we got some dudes who are interested in our school, right? Um, you know what I'm saying? We're second behind Clemson. If we went hard, we could probably get them. Same thing with Helenga. Beatty is actually a guy I'm thinking about going hard after. Six, seven center. Probably will move him to, like, small four. Or power forward, excuse me. Uh, let's go ahead and, and contact him and see what we can make shake there. As we're right behind G Tech, another local kid probably can make some shake. Uh, we're not going to add him to the list, though. We'll see if we got any other Juco guys. No, those are guys we got rid of. Um, any, so those are the seniors. That's everybody we talked to. Boom. So recruiting is pretty solid. You know what I'm saying? But like I said, boys, take a look at this right here. We can always sort it, and we're going to have three stars. That want to come to our school, you know, two stars that want to come to our school, people that are interested in us, even though we're not that interested in them, but they also have to go where the offers are. So we we can't wait too too long if we want to pull the trigger on some of these dudes. You know what I mean? Like uh this Juco Center, 611. Let's take a look. Let's take a look at him. Let's email him. Let's just let him know we're interested. Uh, because like I said, I want to bring in a good amount of guys to fill out those uh, scholarships. And I think we're pretty set here. So yeah, yeah, I think we're pretty set. We probably could, could jump in and get Jack Killer, but let's go ahead and take a look at our, our roster right quick before we get into this game as well. Now, let's go by position, right? We only have one point guard on the roster. That's Christian Wright. Of course, Gomer can, second, can secondary play shooting guard, but we got two, four shooting guards on the team, right? Etter is a senior. Oquindo is a junior. Church is the freshman. McDowell is going to be a redshirt sophomore next year. Small four, we got Mangan. We got Butts. We got Jabri. Jabri should be a senior. Or no, nah, no, nah, he should be a junior. This is actually right. So we're pretty solid at small four. You know what I'm saying? But I could also see us moving Jabri. You know what I mean? We could move him to power four. Uh, then at power four, Taylor might get cut after this year. Tyrone Baker, we'll see how he progresses. Uh, Reginald is senior. He's going to be going. Pace is going to be the number one guy. And then, you know, we're pretty light at center. So these are, you know, point guard, center, power forward are like the main positions we want to focus on. But, you know, I feel like we're going to have at least two to three years with Gay. We're going to have at least two to three years with Pace, at least two to three years with uh, Church. I feel like Mangan and Butts could stay off all four years. You know what I'm saying? They could stay all four years. We'll see how that works out. But you know what I mean? Uh, we got we got to try to take advantage 
of you know the top recruit class we had coming in this into this year. You know what I mean? Because that uh, we might not have a top recruiting class for a couple seasons to come with how bad we've been the last couple years and not being able to get top recruits to come to our school. All right, boys, so take a look here with Beatty. Like I said, right, Beatty really wanted to come to UGA. So we jump over Georgia Tech just like that, man. So we would be able to get him to come to school if we want him. Probably be able to do the same thing with Christian, but let's go focus on our targets, right? Junior college, Chris Wright, Georgia Tech might run away. Might run away. Uh, we haven't scouted any games. Let's go ahead and, uh, and scout him right quick. Um, I don't I don't know if I would necessarily want to offer him a scally off rip, even though I feel like he could be good. Uh, Catalinas, we jump over Providence, offered him a scally. So let's go ahead and visit him in his home. Uh, we'll have the, uh, the uh, assistants call and email him just to set that up. Then we got Terry Bolton, you know what I'm saying, another point guard who we're trying to get to come here. Um, let's go ahead and visit him in his home, right? Behind Marshall, I feel like what we offer Muscali will be good there. That if we get both of those guys, that'll put like that'll put three point guards on our um three point guards on our roster. Okay. Victor Botham, a school still, only person on his list. We can't offer him, you know what I mean, to visit or anything like that. It costs too much. He's in a whole nother country, but we're gonna make sure we stay in touch. And then for our juniors, we like I said, man, we gotta make sure we call and uh email these dudes every single week. You know what I mean? Just so they can know, hey, we want you to come to our school. We're going to be showing up at the high school gymnasiums, talking to them after the games and stuff like that. And we're going up against some heavy hitters with some of these uh, prospects because they're five stars. So far here, boys, out of the seven scholars we had coming into this year, we have offered three of them. So we got four remaining. These are the three we offered, the two point guards in the center. I feel like we're going to get those, those dudes regardless. Now, it's everybody else that I definitely, definitely want to be, you know, wary about. Um, maybe we do offer white. Maybe that jumps us up to that uh, to that Georgia Tech tier. Um, would hate to lose them, right? But as you guys saw, we're pretty solid at small for, you know what I mean, for a few years to come. So that's one position I'm the least worried about. So we still do have Beatty, the 6'7 center. Um, you know, you, you never know with these three stars, right? These three stars could still end up being really, really good. So we're going to make sure that we do recruit the three stars and we're letting the three stars know we're on their radar or they're on our radar. You know what I'm saying? Um, and then we got this four star Antric Molician. Molician. Uh, I think we're going to offer him, right? It's going to be a blind offer, right? But most of recruiting is blind offers. You never know who, how good people really are going to be. You know what I mean? But six, seven, add some length and some size to what we got going on. Could be a sleeper right now, not ranked in any classes. Um, you know what? I'll offer Beatty as well. Beatty's a guy who wants to come to our school. He wants to be a part of what we're building down here. Undersized at six, seven, but could be, could, you know, we could move him to that power forward position that we're going to desperately be needing. Take a look here. We do have some things unlocked on Beatty. Actually, we have all things unlocked on Beatty. You know what I'm saying? So that's good. Take a look at what he did over the summer in AAU. Average 13 and 13. That ain't bad at 6'7. He getting to it. You feel what I'm saying? And um, you know, I mean, we're getting grades. Close shot is a little low. Medium shot is low. Drive, you know, but he's a center, right? So we don't care about the three. Recent priorities. Getting good coaching, playing at a big program, getting playing time. He's not concerned about, about being close to home. But I do still feel like being close to home is going to work in our favor when it comes to him, man. So, you know what I mean? I'm definitely, definitely looking forward to that. And the thing with uh, Molison, Moli, Molison here, the Juco freshman, he's going to come in with three more years of eligibility. Um, he wants to be close to home. We're not close to Michigan. Dayton is in Ohio, but we're the bigger program. So, you know, I mean, let's keep scouting him and, 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 and pick his brain and see exactly what he wants to accomplish here. But without further ado, boys, it is game time here. Take a look on paper. Hampton, 72, 72, 69. We're 85, 88, 83. I still feel like we can come out here and get the damn thing done, man. Starting off the season on the right foot is paramount. It is huge, and you know what I mean? We set the tone last season going 6-0 and and then losing like 10 straight. I don't feel like that will be more be more the same this season, but starting off big and beating a team like Hampton as badly as we should beat them is very important. See you boys out there on the floor. Get ready for College Hoops 2K8. The Hampton Pirates battle the Georgia Bulldogs. This one promises to be a real battle. Welcome, everyone. We're here at Stegman Coliseum. I'm Vern Lundquist here with Bill Raftery and Tracy Wolfson. Give us your take, Bill. 
I'll really be watching the matchup at the four spot. Pace is one of the strongest power forwards in the country. Watch how this fella operates in the low post. He's got some dazzling moves down there. Henderson is also a capable power forward. This guy is a defensive powerhouse. This is the kind of guy you just love to have on your team. Both looking to lead their teams to a win. We'll see who succeeds. Opening day. They are that's an old team over there for uh for Hampton, bro. They they are they are senior heavy. We're freshman heavy, man. And take a look at ready to see what Sam Gay and them boys can do out here. Look pretty solid in, in uh Midnight Madness. One do more of the same. Let's go down low to our big man early. Fade away. Yes, sir. Ain't gonna be too many MIAC players that can stop our 7-4 big man from turning his shooter over over any shoulder he wants to shoot over, man. All right, boys. Remember, we started off uh we started off uh, you know what I'm saying, uh Midnight Madness the same way. Look at look at looking sad to be real with you. Shoot him out of the zone though. Shoot him out of the zone though. You feel him? Ah, uh, Edder. Edder said, I'm a shooter now. Get in there. Let's go, baby. Oh, Quindo, that's not really a game. Here we go. There we go. Right where we want to be. Right where we want to be. Take him down back by the shed, man. Let's go. Good D, man. We're on the boards with it. Let's go. Push him. Kendall getting to the basket. Yeah, let's go. Oh, if we're going to press, let's press then. If we're going to press, let's press then. Yeah, they want to press. We're going to press every every play, but we're going to trap as much as possible, bro. When teams ain't as good as us, we, we, we want to prove to them and show them that they're not as good as us, bro. Oh, boom, it was there. Work out Aquindo. Oh, good move. Aquindo, ah, gets blocked on board. Hey, we big. Pause. Too big. D, fellas. Good D. There we go. Harass him. Jabari get to the basket. Finish. Let's go. All right, man. So we got Church checking in. We got Gay checking in off out of the out of the timeout of Hampton, man. Church gonna be running the one. We got Gay back in at the four, at the five. You know the vibes. But we're good, bro. Ah, I gotta get that steal. Good D. Close, close. Talk, 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 talk. Get there. I really want to get out of this zone. I don't know why we keep defaulting go back to defaulting uh back to it. I'm not a fan of it. Good D. Good D, good D. That pass can't get through there. Six, seven, four. Seven, four, gay. I need to see dominance, baby. Dominance. Dominance. That's how you break a press. Get to the basket pace. Ah! Trying to get to the rack. Ah. Here we go, pace. Work out, baby. Good move. Let's go. Good finish. All right, four. We got four and a half seconds to get a shot off here. Good step back by Gomer. Ooh! What a shot, baby! Hey, let's go. It was only two, but what a shot to end the half, big dog. No, maybe it wasn't a two. I think it was a three, man. Let's go. Going into the locker room, thirty-two to twenty-seven, man. The boys are looking good, man. So we're shooting 45% to 39, 50% three, from three, 7 for 12 from the free throw line. We're out rebounding them, but we got to clean up those turnovers, bro. Take a look at the leaders, man. Church with 10. They have Epps with 10. Pace has 7. Oquindo has 6. Gay isn't on the board at all. Player to half, boys, is going to be uh, Gomer Church, man. Let's go. He, he, he's shooting pretty well. Once we, once we get used to this shot, bro, it's going gonna, it's gonna to be hell, man. We get into the line. We score him. We're doing it all. All right, boys. So halftime adjustments, man. Uh, offensive tempo, let's step that up. Defensive pressure, let's step that up. Uh, crash boards, bench death, let's stay with 12. Primary defense, you know what I mean? Man to man, pressure defense is set. Let's go. We could go 1 3 1 matchup, but I'm going to go man to man still. Inbounds press, full court trap, I like it. Press frequency. We can go occasionally after basket, always, never. Desperation. I'm going to keep it on occasionally for sure. All right, so uh, let's get this uh, defensive pressure on tight on everybody as well. Too many open looks and, you know, free catches of the ball. I want deny ball defense at all freaking times, bro. Coach notes, so the negatives could go to the offensive glass more. We have to. We have too few offensive rebounds. We could sag even more on defense. They can't hit a shot from the outside. Uh, and the tips, we're doing great. Keep up the good work. So with that, Coach says... I'm going to actually go with what Coach says. Coach says go with, go with loose pressure then. 
He said sag off even more on defense. So we gotta make these boys shoot us out of uh out of loose out of loose defense. Cause they're only trying to score inside. I like it. I like it. All right, boys, starting off the second half on defense, man. And uh, you know what I mean? Uh trying to play good defense here. Really not sure why Gay isn't in the game for real, but we'll deal with that. We'll cross that bridge when we get there. Right? Way to get to the basket. Why'd you shoot a jumper? I don't know, but two points is two points. Good move, baby. Let's get it. Butts is another person that could dribble. He's more of a slasher. Getting to the rack, as you can see, attacking the basket, man. Don't let them get comfortable. Oh, that would have been a dagger if we could hit that, John. Bro, good D. Get to the rack, Homer. Let's go. Turn it up on y'all. Y'all seen it? Y'all y'all seen this story before IRL, man? Top, you know I me. Mean? When, when 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 Power Five teams play these Mac and and, and, and Swag schools. Oh my goodness! Once we once they turn it up on them, bro, it's no coming back. Let's go, baby. Let's watch this again, man. Good defense, bro. Keeping that pressure on them dudes. Look at it. Hey, with the windmill. Let's go. Ah, they're doubling. Gomer for two. It's good. Let's go. Gomer Church, that's the person that I, I had in mind that was really going to be like this, the scorer, you know what I'm saying, out of the um, out of the recruiting class. Him and maybe Pace, I thought Gay would be more of a defensive presence. But Gay, you know what I mean, once again, barely in the game, bro. I really don't know what's going on. We break the press there barely. Let's see what they can do. Good D, good D, good D. Reset it. Let me get one. Good screen. Finish Gomer down low. He's calling for that in the in the in the, in the midnight madness game. He was he was posted up and just like that, bro. We are up 17 points, 18 points. Excuse me. Now let me get an ISO, ISO, ISO. Keep going. Beautiful pick and roll, baby. Beautiful pick and roll, fellas. All right, we good, we good, we good. Good work. Seven four. Work out. Look seven four. Thank you. Look seven four. I don't care if you miss. Get another board. We good, we good, we good. This is what we want. There we go. Good move. Thank you. Thank you, Sam Gay. Look how you supposed to look, big dog. Good defense, baby. Good pass. Way to run the floor, big fella. Bang! Sam Gay, after not really playing in the first half due to foul trouble, coming in the second half and find, putting the ball in the hoop, bro. Okendo. Can he knock that down for us? Hell no. Pace on the boards, though. Hey! Get banged on. Let's go. You know what I mean? That's the key. Got to beat these teams the way we're supposed to beat them. Gay on the boards, pushing. They better step up. Good move, Jabari. Easy money, baby. Let's go. All right, here's the press. Break the press. They don't believe in my, his shot? They don't believe in Gay's shot? Because I do. All right, boys, so the clock's going to hit triple zeros on this one. We end up winning this game by 22 here at home. As expected, this is what should have happened. Today's player of the game is going to be Gomer Church, who didn't shoot that great from three. Six for 16 from the field, six for eight from the line, 20 points, three assists, four steals, two boards. I mean, you know what I mean? Did just as, about as good as we thought he would do out here. You know what I mean? Freshmen still getting used to the speed of the game and everything like that, but a great performance. All right, boys. So team stats, man. Let's take a look, right? We shot exactly 50%, held them to 35%. 43% from three, 72% from the free throw line. We had 11 assists, 11 turnovers, but less than them. We had 10 team fouls. They had more than I thought, but we out-rebounded them by seven. They did beat us on the offensive boards. We had uh, 16 steals. We, we had just two blocks. They had four. Dominated in the paint with 38 points in the paint out of 77. 26 points off the bench. Six second chance points and 15 fast break. Take a look at leaders, man. So, uh, you know, Christian Wright, we don't expect, expect him to take a lot of shots. He went one for three with two points, three assists, four steals. 20 for church. Butts had four. Four boards, two assists, three steals, two for three from the field. Did what we wanted him to do. Pace, four for six. Shot great from the field. Well, uh, you know, uh, 11, 11 and six. And then Gay, in limited minutes for, for whatever reason, he wasn't out there a ton today. But he had 14 points, seven boards, just one turnover, six for 10 from the field. Um, you know what I mean? Jabari Abdul-Rahim was six for 12 off the bench. Oquindo was two for five off the bench. Edder had one. Rigdaw, Rigno had, Rigno and just... Rigano had two points, three boards, two assists, one steal. So he was like all over the floor today. And Taylor played briefly, but didn't take any shots. So we get a dub here, man, in opening in our opening day game. That is a plus. That is something exciting for sure. All right, boys. So next game, we went ahead and sim that one. Going up against Georgia Southern. We win that one 105-56. Christian Wright, nine points. 
Church had 20 once again, but he shot way better from the field this time around. Seven for eight, two for three, four for six for the line. Butts had another seven, but he uh 11 shots. You know what I mean? He, he shot more, just wasn't as efficient. We got to uh, turn out his three tendency for sure. Pace had 27, 6, 2, 10 for 14 from the field. And Sam Gay, 31, 8, 2, and 4 with a block. 10 for 17 from the field. Jabari had 6 off the bench. And everybody else chipped in where they could. Coming in here, take a look at recruiting boys. Uh, Renee Beatty, probably more than likely going to come to our school. When it comes to Mullison, we're going to try to have to go harder with him. So let's go ahead and invite him to the campus. Uh, let's go ahead and call him, email him to set that up. Uh, Beatty, we're going to recruit him as well. We'll go ahead and visit him in his home. I don't think we have to do much more to get him to come to our school, for sure, though. Uh, Bonefum, uh, only thing we could do since he's overseas is call the email. Still number one on his list. Juco, guys. We got Braden. We're, we're slowly but surely getting ahead of Providence here. We're going to go ahead and, uh, go ahead and uh, visit him, email him. We got Chris White. Georgia Tech seems to be running away with it. Um, we're going to invite him to the campus. We're going to offer him a scholarship as well to see if that makes a difference. And then contact him. Then we got Terry Bolton. We're slightly, and I do mean slightly, ahead of Marshall right now. Let's go ahead and call him. So, you know what I mean? We haven't scouted him yet. We've given him his campus tour. We've used one of our three home visits. Uh, I feel like we we should be assuring to get him. Then when it comes to these juniors, we got Jordy uh, Fanning. Georgia Tech uh, still in front of us, so we're going to go hard there. Then we're in the top six, but even pretty much for Ashley Barlow. Let's go ahead and, uh, you know, really go hard trying to trying to talk to him, get, get things off to him. Then we got Kyle Lang, a guy I feel like we can definitely jump in front of some people from Australia. You know what I mean? More people, uh, he's on more people's radar now. And then we got Josh Spencer. Top three behind Virginia Tech and Duke. We're making some progress, though, so that's a plus. All right, boys, so we are 2-0 on the year, man. Take a look at our starters. Everybody has high confidence. Christian Wright has the lowest, you know what I'm saying, but it is what it is. I feel like he has a good feel for everything. Recruiting is going well. We just got to wait and see how things are going to progress. Loving the way we're playing out here today. Loving what I'm seeing early on, but we already know once we got into that, you know, that, that – once we got into the real nooks and cranny of the season last year, that's where things started to crumble and fall apart. Because remember, we are going to sim. How we fare in those simulation games are going to mean a ton with our postseason success and what we're going to see with the rest of the squad, man. So hopefully you guys enjoyed. If you did, stop and smash that like button. Hit me up in the comment section below. Subscribe if you're new. It's your boy Uncle Sam's Reject, RKGames.com. I'm out of here. Peace. <laughs> niggas want me to lose, but I can't. I've been stacking this shit to the ceiling. Know some niggas with bodies, and it ain't no probably. We never speak on them killers. Everybody on my block gon' get them some money. It's only a couple of drillers. I've been fucking them hoes, man. Them bitches ain't nobody. Boy, get the fuck out your feelings. Drop my son off to school in the morning. After that, I headed straight to the